Hello and welcome back. Today we'll be looking at Hero widgets. So we can go ahead and create a new Flutter project and it'll be a Flutter application and we'll just call this Hero and specify our SVK path. OK, next and finish. So our project is loaded up and we can go ahead and delete the boilerplate so we can get rid of this title over here and get rid of this here get rid of all the increment method and the variable and then we'll go ahead and delete everything inside the build method so essentially what a hero is is it allows you it allows its child to be part of a hero animation so the reason they're called hero animations is because it's an animation that takes one object from one screen onto another screen so once you're transferring through different pages it'll take one object and put it into another page so i'll show you how that works so let's go ahead and create our scaffold add the app bar and we'll call this um hero heroes and center title true um we can also now go ahead and create a another stateful widget and we'll just call this second page we'll go to create a scaffold so essentially for hero animation to work you need two different pages so now we can go onto the body and we'll create a center widget with a child of container and this will have a decoration of box decoration and the border radius will be border radius dot all actually dot circular sorry and we'll just set it to a hundred so it'll be fully round like a circle um, color will have colors.red and then we can specify a height and the width for the container so height 200 width 200 right, that's done and we actually need to wrap this first in a hero no actually wrap it in a gesture detector and specify on tap and we'll just navigate to the next screen so navigator dot push context and we'll have a material page root and the builder will be a context and we'll just push to second page right so we need to actually add in our hero widget so we'll wrap the gesture detector around that and so we need to give a hero widget its tag so the tag essentially it just identifies the hero so it knows which two heroes are pairs and how to animate between the two screens so we'll just call this red circle Oh, actually, just call it container for now. And so if we run this on our emulator, so open up our emulator. So as we can see now, our hero has loaded and we've just got a circle in the middle of the screen as expected. So if we click on this circle, it takes us to this page, which is empty and we can go back. So now we're going to um, go ahead and add the second part of this tutorial, which is to add an app bar first, and we'll just call it give this app bar title will be a text that says second page. Center title true. Next we'll go ahead and give it a body of, actually you can just go ahead and copy this because it will be the same as this just with a few different 
iterations. So instead of giving it a border, we'll actually give it a border radius. We'll change the color to blue. Uh, we'll make this square bigger. So it will just be a blue square. And you'll see now that they've got the same tag, the hero animation knows that this hero over here needs to become that by the time we've moved from this page to the second page. So if we hot reload this, You'll see now that we click, it becomes a blue square and... Oh right, we need to change the navigator to pop it instead. Navigator.pop So reload that, come back here. Uh, we'll need to go back because it's the stacks them all before, right? So you press it and it comes here and it goes back. So if you were to slow this down, you'll see that it, the uh, circle slowly go become it becomes blue and then its border radius is decrease. Then once we go back and we click on it again, you'll see that the square's border radius is increase and it turns red. So that essentially is what a hero um, widget can do. You can also add more functionality to this. So um, for example, we can go ahead and add a floating action button. Floating action button, floating action button, I think. Yes. And we can give it, what's it my fire parameters? It needs an unpressed function, so. Go here, unpressed, and we will just do nothing for the unpressed, it'll just be empty, and we will have a child of type text that just says heroes, and we'll give it a tag, because floating, floating action buttons are a type of widget that already have inbuilt um, already have an inbuilt hero tag so you can just give it a tag of fab which stands for floating action button and if we go over here we can go to floating action button again and copy this out and instead we'll change this to second and we can change the floating action button position floating it's outside the scaffold floating action button location floating action button location dot um, center float so it will be in the center instead of being in the regular corner so if we hot reload that and we come over to emulator, you'll see now that we have a heroes button and it does nothing but once we click it, you'll see now that with the heroes it moves from there to there and so that's how what you can use it for, you can use heroes like that. There are many many more things you can do with heroes and hero animators so thanks for watching and I'll see you around.